right, so we just woke up to an earthquake. Do you know what? It just rocked us out of bed. Like, I was in a dead sleep. Me too. I was like, not even wanting to wake up right now. I was awake and I just was like, wait, is there something going by? And it just kept getting worse and worse. How and the I heck? Really that was the biggest one I've ever felt. Wow. Is it called earthquakes? Yeah, that's craziness. I will say, Jen. Let's see if that made the pool. What? We need to get that water set Yeah. Oh, what was the earthquake at? It's still shaking. Oh my gosh. It's like we're on a curtain. It was 3.1. No way. There that was last time. It says 5.7, because I have an earthquake app that I've used since our last earthquake. So anytime there's an earthquake, I know what it is. So it just got reported that it was a 5.7. Wow. The chandelier is still shaking. I was so nervous that my fan was literally falling. That felt so heavy. I'm gonna go to some footage of mom really fast because she was the only one awake. All right, I'll insert the footage. We'll watch how, how she did. <laughs> Again, kid, how do you miss that setup? They, well, he comes stomping down anyway. That's just how he walks. No, but look, like no, it's going again. There's been like, what is it? Seven aftershocks right now? What the heck is happening? I'm seriously nervous. I think we have a fiberglass pool and it's supposed to expand, but I'm like, man, I hope that, hopefully I don't look out there. It's just drained. All right, babe, you can't just sit here all day. We got to get up and get going. Actually, let, let me check my TikTok really fast though. <laughs> Boston's all ready. Good thing Franny and let us know that the earthquake is happening. Can she slept right through it? She doesn't have those dog instincts. She's still cute though. Franny woke up and she just like she felt scared. She was? Yeah. Oh. Now she's all tired. She's tired 24-7. She sleeps 90% of her life away. Unless we take her on walks. Yeah, a lot of phone calls, like, lots of texts. Like, Everybody's like, checking to see if we're okay. Like, uh, and we actually like, feel pretty loved right now. And I'm just, really you know me, I'm just getting everybody to calm down because stuff like that doesn't affect me. I haven't been scared of something in probably, I don't know, since probably 83 when I was four. Anyway, I'll keep it together for the family. The last thing we want to do is panic. Although that's the first thing I yelled when the earthquake hit. So, um, yeah, there's a different experience for everybody depending on where you are. Start the process. Crazy times we're living in. Crazy times we're living in. Anyway, I guess we're gonna go get ready for the day, but man, what a way to start it. Homeschool day two starts now. What was the first thing? Alex said they evacuated everyone at the airport and he's the only person left alone inside the operations area for Southwest to work with dispatch on canceling flights for the day. Super eerie. So they're all being canceled. Yeah. Every flight to so and, and we have friends and out of town. Ange just said all of the non-native missionaries serving in the Philippines are coming home. I saw that actually yesterday. But we have friends, Jennifer, that are like out of the country right now. I know, that's what's telling Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're like freaking out for them. Like how are they gonna get home? They they canceled their Oh, but I didn't I don't know where they went. Oh I know I checked kids. Yeah, it's it's scary right now. You didn't read all my comments then. Yeah, you're getting major hate. No, just kidding. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm just shaking. 
Yep, lost his trumpet today. Well, you have to. That's just part of life. How convenient. Wow, that's crazy. Public safety alert? What the heck? That scared me. Like everybody's phone just starts buzzing. We just need to focus and just go and do everything that we were gonna do pre earthquake and pre. Oh, yeah. You know what? We're doing exactly what we should be doing right now. You know what? I'm gonna fill up that tank of water that we've had down there for over three years. Wait, what are you doing? She tried to cover her hair. So First there's an earthquake, then you come in here and cut well, bangs. I was, just like, I was drying my hair and I'm like, well, maybe I'll just add some. And then you're like sitting right here and I think it'll just help you out. And then look at her, she's doing her homework. Did you jump the gun? Yeah. Looks bad, good though. Bad oh, you think it's a bad choice? Yeah. You have instant regret? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you I still think it looks cute. Yeah, I think it's so cute. Just think. Well, let's tell me I have the ultimate mom haircut now. Just because mom has like the So cute. Probably the cutest hair I've ever seen. Emily, you got some boys here. They're going to help me. Some, we finished, I finished all my school. Good job. Okay, let's go down and fill up this water barrel that we've yeah. had for over, I don't know. Is it a massive hot tub? Huh? Is it a massive hot tub? No, it's a huge, huge water bowl that we just have never filled up. Okay, here it is. Our huge water tank. That is completely empty, which is good because it's easy to move if it's empty. But so we need to start filling it up. Brock's gonna help me do it. I need to Okay, hang on, he's gotta show me something funny really fast. Okay. All right. We're filling up yep, hop over the there. water tank. Hey, you do. Have me the phone because I need my uh, flashlight. What's it Spiders. No, nothing. I can't see. So I'm gonna have to go from this window all the way in and then back into hose. garden hose. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Let's go tell mom the news. So this is what I had to buy. That way we can get water down to the basement. I told Betsy, she's okay with it. We just need to get water. And that's the only way we can get it. You can't do the one from the front? Well, the hose is like completely dirty and it's only a hundred footer. Mm. So I wanted to clean one. Yeah, so I'm just <laughs> casually sitting here doing all my work. I, I'm like, what is on my arm? And I pull it out. <laughs> That's the sock I've been missing for three weeks. No, it just came out of the laundry. All right, well. Clean sweatshirt and clean sock. Okay, but <laughs> we just started laughing so hard because we saw oh this gosh. post. And it's so true. We're going to, are you coughing? Yes. <laughs> okay, show us that post. Me in 20 years when Charmin commercial <laughs> comes on. <laughs> It's so true, we'll always remember that. I think it's time for me to start making lunch right after I do the dishes. How you have to parent your kids. Hey, can you and your friends keep it down? Virtual friends. Their virtual friends are being too loud. Yep. Say hey to the vlog. What's up, hey. And Easton's on here too. Oh, so we, got, we got the gunner on there? Yep. Rock's still trying to get his homework cranked out. Yeah. All right, good. Still just listening to the news and figuring out what the heck's going on. So, Greg just sent this to me. This is our warehouse. We were in at the time, but Josh was, and all of a sudden, he sees it. He, he like, smart, runs to like, the side of the wall. But, but watch, see the racks all shaky? right down there, they're all shaky. And then watch this this thing right here, will kind of like roll away. Yeah, did he call you after this? No, Greg talked to him. Crazy though, huh? Well, Is that wait. so nuts? Wait, oh, you yeah, haven't seen see it. it. You want to see it again? Well, I'll show you running off from that other. Okay, here he goes. I'm surprised he, he was that quick to think. Like he's like, oh crap. That is smart. Well, because luckily all those are anchored to the wall. Can you imagine if those weren't anchored? They would all be on the ground. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. yeah, look right there. Yeah. 
Oh, just too many. Craziness, though. This is actually a better angle. Boston, get under a table. Don't act like a dork. Yeah, it's not Boston, Yeah, Boston. You just come down like an Let me idiot. Grab my cream That's the worst thing you can do, though. Did you not really do running around? He doesn't care. He wants to act like a spaz. He's not Boston. taking it serious. Don't, Boston, take it serious. Because you never know when it's going to be like the big, big one. And then you run out, and then something lands on your head and crushes you. Is that too graphic? But that's how I feel. Boston should not have done that. Oh my gosh, what is this day? I wonder how big that one was. That one felt... Not as big. Really? Yeah, that wasn't near as bad. You're not supposed to run outside? Boston, you are literally the most annoying human on the world because you, you're the type of person that takes this like so lightly and you're the exact person that something bad will happen if you don't start taking it serious. Like just listening to you screaming like it's so funny. It's like you have no idea. Like that could have like, it could be really bad somewhere else and other families could be getting hurt. So think about that for two seconds. Instead of you're outside and get into an open, um, get into the open because there could be power lines falling onto you, chimneys, buildings, or anything else. Like you literally might fall on top of you. Hey Amen, yeah, Alyssa. Like Boston running down the stairs. Do you want to apologize to everybody, Boston? Rock, Rock didn't even do anything either. Let me tell you. What? what? I stayed in my bed. Oh, oh gosh, we got a couple of smart kids. Nah, I got up though. I got up though. Yeah. Can't walk and get out of there. Alyssa, literally me and you are the only ones that are going to survive this. I was in the doorway with a mirror right behind me. But that was like the first place to go. By the time I got under a table, it would have been over. Yeah. If you're inside, stay inside, then drop and cover and hold on. Get under a desk or a table and hang on to it so it doesn't slide away. If there's no desk or table readily available, move into a hallway or against an inside wall. Stay away from windows, fireplaces, heavy furniture and appliances, and get out of the kitchen. Yes. So we should have caught it. So. So who was better then, huh? Me. Don't well, run. You, don't run downstairs or rush outside while the building. Let's is go shut. on a walk. Okay. Will you look at that? Um, the the earthquake out. Yeah. That last one was 3.9. I said over four. It fell like a lot, but we're probably super sensitive right now. All right, let's go on a walk. I need to, I need to just cool down. That's what I need to do. All right, we had to get out of the house. I just had to get away from the kids. <laughs> I just no, had so I, much anxiety. Just wanted to go on a walk to get out. Well, I got after Boston, but then after that, he was just joking around because he really is like the, He's the nicest he's, one in the family. Honestly. He is so nice and cares about everybody. He was just goofing around, but I was, but as a parent, I wanted him to make sure that, that he knew that like, hey, you got like the first one, it's kind of funny, like, ha ha. But it's like the second one, we needed to be better and say, hey, no, this is what we need to do. So we had to talk with him about what has to happen if there's another earthquake. Anything you want to add before we end the vlog? No. Okay. All right, guys. Till next time.